Welcome back to the Armchair Meddler, where I review news videos usually of a sensational nature and I give you my opinion, even though you didn't ask for my opinion, that's what makes me the Armchair Meddler. So, let's see what video do we have. Uh, I have a feeling that this might be a little bit dark, but I want to remind you that I have not watched this video beforehand, so I will be experiencing it along with you for the first time. So, the title is... CCSD teacher wants to clear his name after arrest leads to no charges. Okay, so like I said, I have not seen this. I have no idea what this video is about. Uh, before we get into it, please make sure you're subscribed and also press that like button. So let's not delay. Let's get right into this video. I was just in awe. I mean, I really had no words. I still don't have any words. I'm still in shock 11 months later. That Clark County teacher accused of stealing from the district and then cleared is set to return to the classroom. Okay, so I just want to say right now that I am wiping my brow because when it said teacher wants to clear his name after being accused, I was sure it was going to be like child molestation or rape. So a big whew, because this was not necessarily a subject matter that I wanted to tackle. So... So, yeah, even if I was this teacher, I would be happy that I wasn't accused of that. You know, I would be like, oh, you accused me of stealing? Oh, yay! At least it's not child molestation. Okay, enough of that. Let's get back to the video. Next week. Thank you for joining us at 6. I'm Brian Loftus. I'm Denise Valdez. Clark County prosecutors declined to pursue charges against Roy Goodell. While he calls it a relief, he vehemently denies any wrongdoing and wants to clear his name. Joshua Peguera on this story live in the studio with the interview you will only see on 8 News Now. Now, 10 years ago, Roy Goodell began teaching for the Clark County School District. He says he was mission-driven, feeling passionate about helping kids. That all came crashing down last year when he was arrested for grand larceny and theft. And just giving my time and giving my um, care to education and to kids. What happened on March 4th was just being blindsided. Roy Goodell is recalling the day he was asked to leave his office at Silverado High School, then placed into handcuffs. The gut feeling inside to someone thinking that I can do something like that or be involved in something like that is it's heartbreaking it's just it's just heartbreaking CCSD police accused a 49 year old of obtaining money or property on the false pretenses grand larceny and conspiracy to commit theft it stemmed from his time at Sierra Vista High School where he was the football coach among several allegations, he was accused of giving away an iPad and forging a $4,000 invoice. I'm not guilty of anything. I didn't do anything. And that has come out. The charges were never... Okay, so they haven't gotten to it yet. I don't know if they will. But who made these accusations against him? That's what I want to know. Pursued. When I asked him why, he says he doesn't know. I reached out to CCSD and they declined to comment. Now it's just time for me to get back to work. It's time for me to get back to doing what I love, and that's teaching kids. Between working in Montana and CCSD, Goodell has... You know what? I think it's time for you to get to filing a lawsuit. That's what you need to do, because basically, they, to a certain degree, they ruined this man's life. I mean, they ruined his reputation. Taught for 25 years. His last position was as vice principal of Silverado High. I've been a principal, I've been a teacher, I've been a coach. You just don't throw 25 years away. They tried to throw it away for me. But he is trying to move forward now with the district and follow his passion of teaching students. Is this a relief for your family? Like that, that now you can move, uh, put this behind you? I think my family, like, like I said before, I think my, it, it is a relief that we can put it behind us, but they, they know that none of it was true. Now, Roy Goodell says he and the district signed a settlement agreement that allowed him to return to the classroom. Brian? Thank you, Joshua. Goodell starts back again with the district on Monday. No word yet where he will be placed. The district tells us uh, that it can't comment on employment matters. Okay, so like I said earlier, I'm just wondering who made these accusations against him. Did somebody have, you know, some sort of grudge against him? But, uh, yeah, that's, this is a real shame because how does this, how does this, uh, individual 
get his good name back because people will always remember uh, that this person was accused, that he was accused, but very few will ever hear or remember that he was completely exonerated of the charges. So yeah, I, I just wonder who, who made these accusations. But once again, like I said, I was going into this, into this video blind, as is always the case. And I'm just glad that it was not child molestation, child rape, inappropriate relationship with a student. Because once that accusation is made, it is over. It is over. No matter if you are cleared in a court of law, your life, especially if you're a man, your life is over. But anyhow, enough of that. Once again, I'm the Armchair Meddler. If you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. Also, make sure you press that like button, and we'll see you on the next episode.